Good day, I'm back again. I am sorry for hiding you to all my fans for so long. And uh, I'm sorry also for not replying on your emails. And I am also apologize for keep on promising for the video, but still I'm not sending it to you. I'm so sorry because I'm so busy for the past few months. Um, here I have uh, lots of questions actually in my email and uh, it's uh, more of about uh, how to import the 3D into the Dialux Evo and where to get the 3D files and also uh, how to convert the, the SketchUp file into the that 3DS. So here is my sample project. I uh, created this one for the Dialux Evo competition again. I hope I will win this time because I keep on um, uh, joining the competition but I'm always losing it. I don't know why because maybe I don't have lots of friends in my Facebook. That's a sad thing because I don't accept so much friends in my Facebook. I limit myself into 200 friends only. Anyways, even if I don't win the competition, still I'm so proud of myself. It's not just that I I want to win, I want to get the iPad Air or the iPad whatever. It's the second thing, but um, it's more of developing myself. It's not getting the iPad or being popular or becoming uh, known. <laughs> but it's more of, no actually not becoming known, I want to become known. It's more of actually, um, I want to beat myself, the previous me. So I keep on upgrading myself, I keep on practicing, so I can be more, more, more good in this uh, Dialux Evo, and also in lighting design. So here we go, I would like to show you how I imported these furnitures and fixtures. Most of them are from Dialux Evo uh, default objects, but I can show you how to get other objects like for example this beautiful tree here yeah and also how to get this tree and how to convert the sketch up file into that 3ds okay so let's start with um oh, i would like to show the in inside yeah, this is the inside it's more of an office and a residential building just want to show you my entry maybe you will like it if you want to like it, please go to Facebook Dialux Competition and please, I will show you where. Alright, here, please go to this site uh, in Facebook, the Dialux Evo Competition, and please like my entry. You cannot see it here yet, but they maybe will post it later. So if you found it, please like my entry. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the Dialux Evo Competition. Alright, so um, I will show you where I get this vase. This vase. You can see this is a vase, it's a glass vase. And you know, if you render it, it's really lovely. Wait, let me show you the render of this, um, this vase. See? Very nice, right? Look at that. So, where to, f where to get this? 3d files it's easy and you can um, immediately get it it's for free no need to pay so let's go now and get it you may go and get these files to this website this is www.archive3d.net this is also given by my friend who is also so kind and so idealistic like me so here you go. For example, you can see here in this tab that there are lots of collections. You can go by uh, furnishings, equipment and appliances, people and related wear, site improvements, structure, kitchen, doors and windows. For example, you want to look for a vase. Vase are, I think it's more of decoration wear. So let's click this decoration way. Here, this are the vases that I got this is what I got so you just have to click the item and then download and then download OK and then you may like them in the Facebook and then you can save it say OK 
and then it will go and save directly so if you're using a uh, Firefox you can see it here and if you're using a Google then you can see it somewhere here below so it depends and then you may see it in your download file okay so that's it so go to here 3darchive.net if you want trees you can have it also here for free that's the good thing about it so we should be thankful to this archive 3d for those who made this uh, website <laughs> archive 3d thank you very much it's a lovely website and you can also contribute if you want if you have lots of 3d in your files maybe you don't want you you want to remove it from your computer then you can s you can uh, s upload it here and share it to everybody good thing give and share sharing and giving all right so uh, i think i can uh, close this one now oh let's take a look at this one this is a gorgeous tree oh uh, see i think this is the one i uh, took before so it's done we can go now to the sketch up after the 3d and actually this 3d archive is already that 3ds so all you need to do is import it okay i will show you some of my collections go to the construction object and see i have the here the vase you just have to click and click and if it's too big you just have to make it one then one and then one and then edit it edit it later see this is a nice vase you may change the dimension here 0 0.6 0 0.6 and one meter and then you can have now your gorgeous face you just have to check the scale all right i have also one here my collections favorites so th here you go i have lots of 3d files which are from i have rocks also rocks which i put here here you go look at that okay i also got this one from if i'm not mistaken that is from sketchup but there's also w which I converted into three that three D S, but there are also some rocks in um, here in the in this three um, D archive. You can go for uh, gardening and you can see the rocks here. Where are the lo the rocks? See there are some here, or you may go and t type rocks, and then you can have rocks here. You can have this rock and then stones. And then you may download it if you like it. Here you go. See, there are so many stones or rocks. So now let's go and check the sketch up. So uh, see this this dialogue is so gorgeous. I forgot. I would like to show you my trees, my favorite one. This one. I'm about to show you that this one is really, really, really cool. This is an angle, it's wrong. So you just have to change it in 0, 0, and then 180 and make it say uh, 10 meters high tree, 6 meters, 6 meters. It will become like this. Ah, cool, right? And then you just have copy and then go and paste it in the position. Paste in the mouse 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 position. And when you go to that 3D, uh, this is so nice. I love this. And it's not showing correctly. So uh, let's adjust it. Maybe you can put it down. Move a little. And there you go. And then maybe you can check the others later. This one also. Go and do it in one meter. There you are. Ah, see? It's a very lovely um, office residential building. Okay, so again, I'm sorry for that, I forgot. We will go now to the SketchUp. So you just type in the Google 3D Warehouse SketchUp. And then you will have these selections. And then click this 3D Warehouse SketchUp.com. And you will have these collections. You can also donate or upload your 3D files here, but it should be 3D SketchUp only.
So you go and select, for example, you want three, type three, then enter. See, there are lots of lovely trees here. Oh, look at that. And then, if you go and select this one, maybe, for example, you may download it now. So, just click this one, download, download, SketchUp model. Open SketchUp application, so let's go for it. And let's open it in the SketchUp. So, start using SketchUp. You need to install your SketchUp first, of course, because you cannot open it if you don't have SketchUp. So, after you open it, there you go. It's so nice. You can select this one and then rotate it. I think this is heavy. Oh my god, I selected a heavy tree. Anyways, it's okay. Please take note that if your 3D or SketchUp file 3D is really, really huge, like for example this tree, because it has lots of, you know, leaves like here, it will take time to import it into 3DS. But anyways, since I selected this one, so let's select it and import it now. Go to the file and then export it in 3D model. And then select. There are lots of selections here. You can go for Colada, Google Earth, 3DS, AutoCAD, and other stuff. So you can go for 3DS files. Select this one and s name it like this. And make sure you saved it into your somewhere. And then export. Let's see. Now it will take time, really. You just have to wait. I think I selected the wrong file. It's too huge. Alright, this is too long. Can we open another one? Click another one. Let's say, for example, a um, rock. So, for example, I choose the rock. And then I have lots of selections of rocks here. So, you just have to choose which rock do you prefer. I think this one is lovely. So, download it. And sketch up model 8. So let's open it in the SketchUp model. I have the 8 version, so make sure you also have the same version. You have the updated one. It is free for 30 days, the SketchUp, so you can avail that. Alright, so I have this rack. Let's convert it now into that 3DS. File, export, 3D model, that 3DS. Let's just make a small and short name, rack. And then go to your library and picture and say export. See, it's so fast. Perfect. Okay, now let's go to my pictures. Pictures here. And let's see where is my rock. This is my rock now. So I can uh, import now to Dialux Evo. Let's go back to Dialux Evo. File, import, 3DS file. And then go to your pictures or your to whatever file you saved it and go to and check the rocks. And then the rocks will come to you. But make sure it's not, oh my god, 2,000. Let's make it one, then one, and then one. And then the rock will become smaller. So you just have to put it here. Check the elevation. Little up. Okay. And then... Where's now my... There you are! So, if you're lost and you can find your way, <laughs> just make sure that the 3D that you selected is... Make it 1-1-1 one, one, one for the meantime. So, so you will not get lost of it. Alright, so now I have my perfect and beautiful rocks here. So, let's... Can we just put it a little closer to this... Maybe this tree? So, let's move it. And put it here and a little hide it in the ground. Oh, look at that. Maybe we can rotate it a little, no? So it what's rotate. I should see the three angles. See, I like that one. So I have now my rocks. I would prefer to make it a little bigger. And 1.5. There you go. So I have rocks now in my yard. Perfect. I love rocks. So there you go. I hope you enjoy my tutorial today. Okay, 
For you who is asking for the light post in 3D file or the street column or light column or column for the street lighting, you can also download it in this in this archive 3D net. You just have to go and look for the columns. And there you go. There are lots of columns here, but if you if you can find it street column and then you can select it here or post and there you are you can have a lot of lamp post here and then maybe you will like this one but if you don't like it you may change it there you go so I think this one is enough for you now you can use it for your street lighting design so for you who is asking for the street light post you may download it here and also in SketchUp of course you just have to select say street light or lamp post and there are lots of lamp post or street light or street column here there's something like this and like this and like this one so select one and then download it okie dokes so uh, that's for now I will I will answer all other questions later for, the, for now I think this is uh, enough. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.